99% of guys go and approach girls in real life without even warming up or practicing beforehand. And then they get rejected. And then they're like, oh, I guess something's wrong with me. Yeah, you know what's wrong with you, bro? You didn't practice at all. You have no idea what you're doing. Why would you not warm up first? Why would you not put a little bit of effort in and just expect yourself to wing it? That's like going into a job interview without even reading up about the company you're applying for or without knowing answers to all the questions that they're gonna ask you or trying to challenge a professional boxer to a fight when you've never even hit a bag before. What do you think's gonna happen, guys? You're gonna get dusted. Okay, gonna approach some girls today. Time to train. You need to practice before you approach girls. You can't just go in in there, not warmed up, not having a game plan and not knowing what you're doing. Because if you do, you're gonna lose. And not just lose, but get brutally KO'd. It's gonna destroy your ego, it's gonna hurt you. You're gonna go home like, ah, ah, and then you're never gonna leave your house again. And then you're gonna be watching videos like this. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good, does it? What's up guys, my name is Denmo. I've approached over a thousand women in real life and I don't say that to brag. I've also approached guys too because I used to do a lot of pranks and pickup line videos. I'm telling you this because I want to help you. I want to teach you guys how to approach women in real life so that you can have friends and express interest in women so that you can date them, get into a happy relationship and just have a way more fulfilling and fun dating life. And today we're going to be working on our practice movements. So first and foremost, guys, when you go to approach women, you don't need the shadow box. You don't need to practice sparring. You're not going to be hitting a girl. You're not going to be fighting her boyfriend. You're not going to be beating up strangers, okay? But the analogy I'm making is so powerful. For those of you that have watched any kind of professional sport before, you understand the concept of warming up, practicing. But for some reason, when it comes to leaving your house and talking to girls, we don't practice at all. We don't even think about that. We just go into the situation assuming that even though we haven't practiced or warmed up, it's just gonna work out. Or even worse, you go out knowing that you didn't practice, knowing you're not worked out, and then you get in your own head and you mess it up on your own. That's the other problem that happens. The spot that you wanna be in is leaving a house and knowing that you're capable of doing the things that you want to and can do them regardless if you're uncomfortable, regardless if it's somebody you don't know, and regardless how much you practiced or trained for it because you've done it so many times that you know how to do it. Think about guys like Mike Tyson, who will go years without competing, and even though they're 55 years old, they still throw punches and have amazing technique because they are a expert, they're a professional, they've done it so many times that it's natural to them. Their body has literally repeated the motion tens of thousands of times. It's like sales guys. When you first start a sales job, you have no idea what you're doing. You get hit with a bunch of objections. You try to wiggle your way around it. You don't know how to use your voice in order to convince the customer that they actually do need this product and that your product is superior for this reason. No, 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 it's okay. You see, you don't have to pay up front. We can get you on the payment plan. And that way, even money is not the thing holding you back from your desired results. You get good at it. And then after a while, it's natural. You don't have to practice. You just pick up the phone and you sell somebody in usually 10, 15 minutes. That would normally take you an hour when you're just starting out. Very easy to hit a punching bag 100,000 times. It's very easy to cold call a couple hundred people a day. But is it easy for you guys to go and approach women all day? Probably not. So here's some other exercises that you can do to simulate that. The first one is gonna be calling a friend of yours. This is super easy. You just think of your best buddy from middle school, high school, college. Maybe it's the other guy that you work with at the landscaping engineering company. You just get on the phone with him and you say, what's up? How's it going? You start asking him about his day, break some balls. Hey, do you hear about what the boss said? So I guess we have to work next week too. Yo, dude, did you see that fight on the weekend? Did you see that knockout? You just start busting each other's balls, talking about random stuff, and you do that for 10 to 20 minutes. Now... The muscle that you have right here, your voice, your uh, speaking, it's warmed up. You see, the biggest problem guys make is they don't warm up. This happens a lot at the gym. Somebody comes in, they don't warm up at all. They try to hit a PR and they pull something. They tear a muscle or they bust a joint. A lot of workplace injuries actually occur first thing in the morning because dudes will wake up, grab a coffee, come into work, and then immediately go to lift something without stretching, without starting with lower weights first, and they'll pull something. They'll hurt their lower back. Versus at the end of the day, since you've been moving all day, all the muscle and ligaments in your body have all been moving fluidly. You're essentially warmed up. 
So it allows you to access much more of your body weight to lift things as opposed to just lifting purely with your back and hurting yourself. So what you guys need to do is do the same thing except talking to people. You're gonna wanna practice by talking to other strangers. This means going to the coffee shop and making a conversation with the person behind the counter. Or if you're in the drive-thru, ask the person how their day is going. Just stop at a basic store and ask about the features of a product. I don't care if you guys go to the pet store and you're like, hey, do you guys have fish? And then they have a guy come over and show you all the different fish they have. Just be like, okay, bro, tell me about this fish tank. Why is this the best fish tank? Oh, okay, so how does that work? How does the water get in there? Where does the fish poo go? Does it go out the tube? Do I have to get rid of it? You just have a basic conversation with somebody and then you are now gonna be desensitized to starting a conversation with a stranger. And then all of the eye contact, the body language, when you listen to their answer, you're basically just putting yourself in a position where you're used to talking to people. And here's an even better one, guys. Go and talk to a couple women every single day. Go to a coffee shop, go to a library, walk down the street. If you're on campus, just walk around and say hi to people. The whole idea here is you just wanna regularly talk to people. That way, when you do see the right girl that you are attracted to, there's no resistance there. It's totally normal for you to walk up to a stranger. And instead of being nervous and coming off as like the weak, low value version of yourself, you're gonna be warmed up, you're gonna be charismatic, you're gonna be the true person that talks to them. Not the scared, hesitant, nervous version with bad body language, your eyes are looking all over the place, you're like, no, you're gonna be like, hey, what's up? How's it going? You're gonna be making eye contact, smiling, you're gonna be in a good mood and you're not gonna talk yourself out of it. That's how you attract a woman in real life and end up getting a girlfriend. All right guys, so if you wanna know my framework for approaching and talking to girls naturally and confidently, getting them attracted to you, having amazing conversations, amazing interactions, getting their phone numbers, going on dates, having casual hookups, or getting a girlfriend, then you need to check out my social masterclass. I made a video course that teaches you how to do absolutely everything that you see in these videos, plus so much more, and then you will be able to transform your dating life and get the same results that me and thousands of my other clients have. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, click the link in the description below to learn more. So as you get better by getting a course, watching the videos, as well as going out of your house and approaching women in real life, now you're going to start to look at what is really achievable over a longer period of time as you get better. Let me give you a quick analogy with fighters. Training camp is eight to 10 weeks before they step into that cage or ring. They study their opponent. They learn all about them. But imagine if boxers just spent eight hours a day reading about their opponent versus actually training. Who do you think would win that fight, guys? The guy that's online all day like, oh, female nature. Or the guy that's out there in the field all day practicing, sparring, getting his reps in, guys obviously the guy that's out there actually practicing and that's the biggest mistake you boneheads make you watch every video of all time but you never actually practice in real life that is why you lack dating results comment below right now how many hours you spent in the last seven days talking to women in real life i guarantee most of you as you go to the comments now to read what people said it's like i haven't talked to a woman in months i haven't talked to a woman in two years or like, oh, well, I messaged her on a dating app. That doesn't count, guys. When you look at professional boxers, they have all kinds of things they work on. They have drills. They have techniques. They have somebody holding the pads for them. And obviously, they're competing for a fight. And you're not going to be able to go to training camp to be able to talk to girls. I mean, there are guys that offer those kind of camps, but I don't think that's the most effective method. It's just really simple. You put in reps, you put in hours, and you take it very seriously. That way, when you do have time off work, when there is an opportunity, like, your friend asks you to go out and you guys are gonna go and talk to some strangers or there's a festival coming up or there's a street parade or it's Saturday and you're at the park at 9 a.m. walking your dog and there's all these baddies out there just doing yoga out in the field like, uh, uh, oh. You're gonna be ready because you're a sharpened sword and you've been practicing. Now here's a couple more fighter analogies just to inspire you. Number one, if you're fighting, you need to be ready to get hit. Just like if you're approaching women in real life, you need to be able to get rejected. If as soon as you get hit, you're done, then you guys are never gonna be able to reproduce. I'm sorry, but it's over, bro. If you can't handle a girl rejecting you, then how are you gonna ever be able to approach another girl in real life? You're not. So you need to get over this afraid of rejection thing. It's just like a boxer being afraid of getting hit. Now there's things you can do to prevent getting rejected, right? Just like there's things you can do to prevent getting hit. A good example is sticking to your own weight class. If you're a 155 pounder, 
then you don't want to fight a guy that's 200 pounds if you're both professionals. Just like if you're a five out of 10, you go to hit on a nine out of 10, unless you have status, unless you're in an environment with a bunch of friends that implies that you have some kind of special quality about you, such as you're a musician or you're the bouncer there, or that's your bar that you own, or you're performing stand-up at a comedy show. Unless you have all that going for you, chances are you're punching above your weight. So the odds are against you. But if you're a six out of 10 and there's a girl that's a seven or an eight, now you have a better chance. But a lot of you guys are two, threes, and fours. You haven't gone to the gym. You don't even have a skill set, let alone started your own business. You don't have social skills. And then you expect to just walk up to a dime piece and her to bend over backwards for you. Obviously, it's not going to happen. That's like a street fighter trying to step into the ring with a professional boxer that holds a championship belt. No way that's going to work, guys. Last but not least, don't ever rely on being the underdog or throwing a haymaker. Yes, it makes a good story, just like in all the Disney movies where the guy that's a total nerd is nice to the girl, hangs out with her, and then she gets in a big argument with Chad, and he's mean to her, and she goes for the little dork because he stands up for her. Hey, Chad, stop being mean. That doesn't happen, guys. Here's what really happens. The Chad gets the Melvin and just <laughs> breaks his neck, crushes his skull, throws him over a cliff, and then bangs the chick right in front of his family, okay? For every Rocky story, there's a million stories where the dude just got destroyed, obliterated, probably got brain damage, and we don't even know what he does anymore. So don't ever be in a position where you're just relying on a haymaker. You need to have a game plan. You need to progress. You don't just fight the world champion. You need to beat a couple cans, which means for you guys, you need to approach a couple guys just to make friends. You need to talk to old ladies that you have no interest in being with. You need to date a couple girls that are like, you know, fours or fives, right? And then as you get better, the women that you can attract get better too. And the point of this, guys, is as you get enough experience, you level up other aspects of your life. Now you actually are a seven. Now you actually are an eight. Or you have the charisma of one to get one. And this correlates with getting older, getting more status, and then women prioritizing different qualities besides just how tall you are or what university you went to or whatever it is, guys. Point I'm making is you need to practice and it's gonna be a long-term thing. Anyways, guys, I want you to share your experiences with approaching women in real life beforehand. Share your best tips for practicing, share your best warm-ups and things that really calm you down and get you into a good flow state where you can go and be yourself and talk to people. And also join our Discord. We have a bunch of guys and girls in there that are also on a self-improvement journey. You can share your tips. You can talk about social skills, dating, get answers to your questions from the guys and girls in there and other fun stuff. So make sure you join the Discord. The next video to watch after this is gonna appear on the screen. Peace. If you need better and faster dating results, you can apply for a one-on-one -on -one call with me by clicking the link in the description below.